Hey y'all, listen, thank you for coming back a third time, y'all. I've been trying to record part three of this video, but it seemed like every time I get started, I get cut off, okay? But I'm gonna go ahead and um, try to cover as much as I can just in case this happens again. Listen, y'all, we're talking about the crisis in Houston, Texas as it relates to Hurricane Burl right now, okay? At the time of this video, y'all can see it's a whole nother day now, okay? I done changed outfits and everything, y'all. I've been trying to get this video to you. That way you can um, know what's going on and make a plan to prepare and protect and provide for your family. Listen, I'm praying for the people in the Houston, Texas area. Over a million people, y'all, it could be uh, well over a million are without power, okay? It's also very hot in Texas, okay? And uh, right now, it seems that uh, they are uh, um, blaming, coming under scrutiny, the utility provider, which is Centerpoint, okay? As a matter of fact, uh, representative, I have a, a source in front of me, Representative Sylvia Garcia out of Texas, okay? Uh, put this on uh, X, formerly known as Twitter. And she said, and I quote, living without electricity isn't just inconvenient, it's dangerous, okay? She also, uh, what do you call it? Added or tagged Centerpoint, the utility provider, and said, and I quote, at center point, your failure during this crisis is unacceptable. Texans deserve reliable power, especially after natural disasters. This isn't just poor service. It's a risk to our lives. OK, now, <clears throat> late on Wednesday, <clears throat> excuse me, it was reported that center point energy said it had, and I quote, restored more than one million of the two point two six million customers impacted by Hurricane Burl in the first 55 hours of its restoration efforts and continues to focus on restoring customers without power. Y'all listen, if you've been rocking with this channel now for quite some time, as many of you all have, you will know that <clears throat> I have reported on several, I have a few videos, several videos where I have spoken about the Texas power grid. Okay. Can we say, okay, even if you're not located in Texas, I told you all I'm here in Georgia. <clears throat> do you feel like the power um, do you feel like center point? Okay. This utility provider, if they have done some wrong, okay. Let's say, you know, like I said, they're being, <clears throat> they're coming under scrutiny. Did they do enough to prepare for this crisis? Okay. The question I'm asking is, I'm trying to see how to word it. The question I'm asking is, is center point completely to blame for what's currently going on? Okay. Or is there a bigger, uh, problem facing the state of Texas as it relates to their energy uh, providers in the power grid. Okay. We've talked about that here on, uh, on the channel before. Okay. Now here's a quote from center point. I'm sorry. Here's a quote from, uh, okay. Uh, representative Garcia who said, and I quote hurricane Burl was not on, I'm sorry. Uh, a quote from representative Garcia who said, and I quote hurricane Burl was not an especially strong storm system, but it was one that should have been taken seriously Given the frequency of such tropical systems impacting Gulf Coast cities like Houston, even with more than 72 hours worth of warning, okay, Centerpoint refused to stage the workers necessary to promptly restore electricity for millions of customers for the sake of supposed um, efficiency, okay? She went on to say, and I quote, as a resident of Houston, a Centerpoint customer, I am tired of Centerpoint's excuses. Houstonians demand answers and want accountability. Our constituents must be assured that this will never happen again. Okay. Is this a, a thing of finger pointing? Should center point uh, take full responsibility if they have any uh, wrongdoing or is it a greater issue with the Texas power grid? Okay. I want to hear from you. Listen, has this whole what's currently happening in Texas? Okay. Has that made you reevaluate your um, uh, backup power sources? Okay. I talked about in a previous video, solar energy, uh, it could be something as um, small as like a, you know, just a portable. Um, this one is by Ready Hour. It's also, I have one, one that's updated uh, with different ports on my site, preparewithandrea.com. You can check it out there. This one is pretty good. It also acts, um, it has several different charging ports, okay? This is something I can take with me. It's portable. It also acts as a light, um, you know, in times where I may need... Uh, bright light. Okay. You all can see it right here. So listen, y'all, we got to think about different ways, uh, even um, <clears throat> generator, right? Gas generator. But please I always, anytime I talk about gas generators, I always say, please do your research. Okay. We got to think about different ways 
different uh, sources of backup energy, okay? Listen, I hope I've said something in this video and the previous videos to help you think about not only being prepared in the event of like hurricanes, natural disasters, but things that you can have in your emergency food supply as well as survival needs, okay? Check out my website. The link is in the description, preparewithandrea.com. Get you some things that you need, okay? The things that I'm telling you about are things that I have, okay? All right, talk to you soon. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you watch parts one and part two of this three-part series on the crisis in Houston. I'm praying for the people in the area. I pray that they get the things they need. They need uh, power restored. Listen, y'all, there has to be some type of change. What needs to happen in the state of Texas, okay? Even some may even say in the United States to become more energy independent, okay? Talk to y'all soon. Thanks so much for supporting me here on Andrea Speaks TV.